everyone, welcome to my channel Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized face nice and tidy. Is your fridge a cold mess and you don't even know what's growing mold way at the back and there just never seems to be space for anything? Well, I'm here to help you out with my top 10 fridge organization tips. If you follow some or maybe even all of these tips, I guarantee you that you will have the fridge of your dreams. I've tested out these 10 tips in my fridge for a while now, so I can guarantee you that they actually work. And make sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna be sharing a freebie that I know you're gonna find useful. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I'm gonna be posting a useful video just like this one every single week. All right, before I get started, if you wanna know where I got any of the items that I'll be mentioning in this video, they are all linked in the description box down below. So tip number one is to get a Lazy Susan. I love these because you can simply rotate it to see what you have in your fridge. You don't have to move everything out of the way if you want something all the way from the very back. Tip number two is mason jars. I absolutely love mason jars. I have them in small, medium, and large, and I use them for everything. I use them for decanting things like margarine, relish, jams, uh, salsa, things like that because I don't like to have a big mishmash of different types of jars and containers in my fridge so mason jars are great for that. I've replaced all of the metal lids with these plastic ones because I find the metal ones tend to rust. However, my metal lids were probably resting because I was putting them in the dishwasher. If you hand wash and hand dry them then they probably won't rust. And this is an extra step and not really necessary because the jars are clear so you can see what's inside. But sometimes it's hard to tell what something is so I like to label the top of the jars. If it's necessary for you to note the expiry date, you can do so on the bottom with masking tape. Another neat trick is if you use Parmesan, the Parmesan lid actually fits a regular mason jar. I love to use mason jars for decanting but also for meal prep. I love it for meal prep because it keeps everything nice and fresh. And what I'll do is at the beginning of the week, I'll chop up a bunch of fruits, vegetables, put them in different jars, um, things like onions, it's great for that because who wants to chop an onion every single day? Um, and then when I'm cooking, I just grab the jar that I need and can easily cook because everything's prepped. Um, or when I'm making lunches, if I need some fruits or veggies for my kids' lunch, I can just grab that. Or after school, if they want a snack, everything's already prepped and ready to go. Tip number three is squeeze bottles. I recommend that you decant all of your condiments, things like ketchup, mustard, uh, sriracha, mayo, um, hot sauce, whatever it is that you have in your fridge into these squeeze bottles. And it makes such a difference because not only does it look better, it takes up so much less space because the other bottles are all different shapes and sizes and sometimes they're half empty and then they're in there forever and taking up a ton of space. So decant them, put them in a squeeze bottle and you'll notice such a difference. I've labeled my squeeze bottles with custom vinyl labels and then on the bottom, I've put a piece of masking tape with the expiry date. Tip number four are Rubbermaid Freshworks containers. And I really like these because I really find that they have prolonged the life of things like berries, uh, cilantro, parsley, lettuce, things like that for me. Basically what it is, is just a container. And then on the bottom, there's this little piece of plastic that keeps everything elevated. And it just has these holes on the sides of the lid, which just helps the air circulate and makes things last longer. When using these, you want to make sure that your produce is completely dry. You don't want to pre-wash your items before putting them in these containers. If they're a bit damp when you bring them home from the grocery store, I recommend that you pat them dry with a paper towel first. Make sure you quickly look through them and if there's anything that's moldy, remove it. I also recommend wrapping things like cilantro or parsley in paper towel before you put it in this container because that helps keep it extra dry. Tip number five is egg storage. Now I recommend you get rid of the egg cartons because let's face it, number one, they're ugly. And number two, you don't even know how many eggs you have in there until you open it. So I recommend two options. The first option is to get these clear containers that are actually meant for eggs. Now I have two of them because we like to have boiled eggs at home. So what I do is I fill one of them up with fresh eggs and then the other one has a few boiled eggs that we can eat throughout the week. The second option is to simply put your eggs in a glass bowl or a glass vase. And the good thing about this is that you don't have a carton to open. You can simply just grab them with one hand and you're good to go. And you can also easily see how many eggs are in there. All right, before I continue with tip number six, if you're finding these tips useful, do me a favor and in the comments down below, type the word useful so I know you're finding this useful. And there's Josh crying, so I'll be right back. All right, so for those of you that are new here, uh, this is baby Josh. I'm currently on mat leave, so he's gonna be joining us for the rest of this video. All right, so let's move on to tip number six. 
I recommend putting in a defrost container. This serves as both a reminder that you need to defrost something for dinner and it's just one container that always holds all those liquids whenever you're defrosting things in the fridge overnight. Now I don't always keep this container in the fridge because it does take up a lot of space, but I will use it whenever I'm defrosting something. And tip number seven is to use containers. I recommend getting rid of things. Yes. I recommend getting rid of things like produce bags and boxes um, and simply putting your items in different containers. And I like this because it keeps like items together. And on top of that, you can easily see what you have in your fridge and you can easily just grab it. And tip number eight is a leftovers bin. I highly recommend this because right away you can see what do you need to eat first. And on top of that, it really helps to reduce the amount of food that you're wasting. Tip number nine is a can dispenser. Now I don't really love the one that I have, but I have linked one in the description box down below that I think would be better. And last but not least, tip number 10 is to put a meal plan on your fridge. Now our meal plan used to be on the fridge, but I've since moved it to the inside of a cabinet because I found the fridge was starting to look cluttered, but do whatever works for you. The point is have a visible meal plan. And the reason why is for one, everyone won't constantly be asking you what's for dinner. They can just check the meal plan. And two, it'll help you stay on track because it'll let you figure out what you need to prep. And on top of that, it'll let you see what you can make throughout the week. And there you have it guys, those are my top 10 fridge organization tips. And just a reminder that I've shared the links in the description box down below for all of the products that I mentioned in this video. If you like the tips that I shared in this video, follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I'm constantly sharing very useful tips and tricks all about small space organization over there. Next week, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my condo playroom and I'll also share three steps that you need to follow to create a perfectly organized playroom. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. And since you've stuck around this far into the video, I'm going to share a freebie that I know will truly help you get your home more organized. In the description box down below, you'll find a link to my free guide all about my top five home organization tips. And don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know is going to find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. I'm sure you'll find them useful as well. Thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!